Live. You're live. All right, here we go. Live. Hey, everybody. Okay, we're going to wait for some people to join, and then we're going to have a little chat. So. So we are live. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're going to give it just a few seconds and um, let some people join. And then uh, we're going to have a little bit of a chat. So. Um, Oops, there we go, let's see here. Charlie holding me up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just so y'all know, I've got the Raccoon Whisperer in here with me. Yeah, I'm here. He's here. And um, we're going to have a little bit of a chat with everybody. So, um So I think we got everybody on that needs to be on. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So um, first of all, uh, there's been a lot of uh, network chatter today um, on the YouTube comments and um, also on the Facebook page. And um, a lot of questions. Uh, and a lot of false statements um, and also on other social media. Mm -hmm. So um, there was some comments last night. I was catching them as soon as they were being written. Um, luckily, I was uh, up and down a lot last night. So I was watching the comments. And then this morning when I got up and started working, um, I was catching some also. So, um, Hello. okay, and the bishop's on the phone, so he's gonna go talk to the bishop in the oh, picture. Pretty good. Um, she's doing a live right now. anyway. Um, so he he's doing, uh, first of all, he's doing a whole lot better today. Um, he has got a significant amount of relief in his belly. Um, he has expelled a lot of what was going on. Uh, we're still going to uh, be cautious about it because um, we we both know that it could be fluid buildup um, from uh, the surgery. And and um, he's talking really loud. Um, it could be something from the surgery uh, from a fluid buildup. Uh, what they call ascites and um it could be causing the bloating also so we're gonna uh we don't know um we changed one of his things that he has been eating um that he started eating last week uh just when all of this started uh actually it was on the same day that all of the bloating and the swelling in the abdomen started uh, we thought that it could have been the Asian food, but we also, um, I'm not ruling that out, uh, but he also started eating something else for breakfast. And um, we eliminated that today and he has not had the symptoms uh, as soon as he ate today. So in saying that, um, I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that was said on Facebook today. Um, and some of the stuff that was said on the comments. Okay, first of all, um, he has told everyone right when the surgery happened um, what kind of surgery it was. Uh, he had a surgery in the abdomen. Um, it was a tail gut cyst that was removed uh, from his abdomen. It was in what they called the pelvic bowl um, is where it was. Uh, he had a drain in his side. Um, the drain was removed over a month ago by his surgeon because it was attaching itself 
uh, and the surgeon who is one of the best within Nova Scotia said it had to come out. In saying that, uh, that part over there on the side has closed up. It is not leaking. He did not have any surgery on his hip. He did not have a tumor on his hip. So anyone that thinks that is completely incorrect. So he does not have leukemia. He does not have a neurological disorder. He does not have thyroid cancer. Um, a lot of rumors are going around um, Facebook comments within the YouTube channel, other social medias of what other people's YouTube channels are rumoring every all these different things that he has. Um, in saying that, uh, he does have specialists and physicians and nurse practitioners and surgeons that are watching over him. Yes, we are in Canadian healthcare. It is not like U.S. healthcare, but he does have people that are watching over him. He's being overwhelmed by all of the recommendations of diet, nutrition, natural remedies, um, vitamins, um, different things that we should be looking out for. Someone has stated that he was hemorrhaging internally. Um, he does have, I think he's already shared this with people. He does have internal hemorrhoids that when he has flatulence uh, and, or when he has bowel movements, sometimes, not all the time, they do bleed. Uh, but he is not bleeding internally. We know this because he has had additional CAT scans uh, within the last two to three weeks. He did get biopsies done uh, the Monday after he had his surgery. And those were for the nodules that were found within his axillary lymph node. We did get those results back. We saw a hematologic oncologist two weeks ago. His lymph nodes biopsy uh, came back as marginal non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. When we saw the oncologist two weeks ago, he stated that it is inconclusive and he cannot stage it at the moment. They have done extensive blood work. They have done extensive scans and they cannot stage it. And reason being this. More than one oncologist has consulted on his case. And because he just got out of a huge major surgery that was in his abdomen. And because the tumor was so large that it has pushed his organs, his rectum and his anus. I mean, things from his kidneys to his liver, to his bladder, to his spleen, to his pancreas his prostate, all of those were pushed to the side and they are waiting on those to fall back into place. After they fall back into place, which they are estimating three to six months, they are going to do more scans. They are going to do more blood work. A PET scan is of no constant consequence right now we can't do PET scans because the lymph nodes are pushed out of the way also. Everything was just scrunched up and they can't detect anything. So the doctor said we cannot stage it. Right now the only good views that they got were of the lungs and there is nothing in the lungs. There is nothing there where uh, 
the lymph nodes are right in here. So uh, in the axillary. So they did check the neck. There's nothing in the neck at the moment. No tumors per se. They are not even going to do bone marrow biopsies right now. So there is no treatments right now. And they are going to recheck him in three months. We're going back in December. So to alleviate the rumors, we are not going to the U.S. for treatments. Jim wants to be treated here. And that's that. He does not want to go anywhere else. He trusts his physicians. He trusts his specialist, his oncologist, his nurse practitioner. He trusts our family that is in healthcare. We have physicians and nurse practitioners and nurses. We have a whole slew of healthcare providers within the family that are guiding him. Yeah. So we just want everyone to know the facts. And please, please stop the rumors. We really would appreciate it. And please do not overwhelm him with everything that he needs to do. We know that you care for him. You have his best interest at heart. But you got to consider 616,000 people follow him. And can you imagine getting advice from 616,000 people by all means of email, Facebook, and the YouTube channel? So the best thing you can do is think positive thoughts, pray, um, just think positive about him, support him. He will get back out on the porch when he feels like getting back out there. He will talk about his health when he wants to. And if he wants to lay on the couch and talk about how, how bad that he feels, it's his channel. He can do that. We had people last night saying they didn't think that they could watch his channel anymore because of his health. And he told me to tell them, unsubscribe. It's not that important. We don't need those type of comments. If you want to tune in, this is Jim Blackwood, the raccoon whisperer. And if you want to see him and talk to him and get the latest updates, then you have to accept what he is going to give you. So that's about it. And um, I think that's it. So, honey, you want to come in here and say anything? Yeah, I was just uh, hung up from the bishop. Yeah. Bishop Cooler just called on me. There's no way I'm going to hang up on him. I know. Uh, so I've told him everything you told me to tell him. Yeah. So. Okay, but uh, you know we uh, we're not. I'm not going to see the specialist until uh, he said December. Yes. And uh, he's going to do a CAT scan before and uh, blood work. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we didn't want to let anybody know that, and uh, we thought, well, the good news from the big tumor was so much good, and right. You know, that's the one I was most worried about. Yeah. We didn't even know this thing was going on until uh, we had the upper cat scan and they caught it but yeah when i went for my biopsy they uh he had a hard time finding it yeah and so, so anyway he wants to do a lower scan now to see if there's any more and uh right now i got too much issues going on with the water and all this stuff and he said it was be too cloudy to do x-ray so yeah it's inconclusive yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah, I didn't even know what non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was. Lymphoma was. Right. And I, you know, when he told me I had it, I said, okay. And uh, that was the surgeon telling me. Yeah. And I didn't know it was a uh, form of cancer, you know. Was, so you told me. Yeah. 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 Well, I so. didn't know. So. Uh, I just thought I'd take a pill and be gone the next day, you know. Yeah. 
But, You're going to be all right then. Oh, oh yeah, I'm going to be fine. Uh, uh, it's so slow and it is a slow growing. Yeah, the marginal is. It is very slow growing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it. It so people live with a long time. Yes. Uh, the yeah. the specialist did tell us that people do live with it. They live with it and don't know they have it. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's it's cases like this, like he, they found it because they did a lung CT scan for his surgery and yeah. they saw it. Yeah. And that's how most people find it. Yeah. It was just a fluke that we even found it. Other than that, we were just going to operate on the large tumor and then yeah. be done with it. And uh, my uh, incision in my, in my rectum area is uh, the nurse said today that it's really common mm -hmm. and she figures it won't be too long and they won't have to come here anymore. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'll be able to sit properly. But right now she said that if you sit on it, you're agitating it because where it is, it's in a spot that you can put donut cushions, you can put it, whatever. The thing is, you don't sit, period. You don't put donuts under you. You don't do anything like that. So uh, you, uh, everybody was saying about get a donut thing and all that. But I mean, as soon as I get on that, we have all that stuff here. As soon as I get on it, I was in a terrific pain. And I can't sit out there and be comfortable and uh, be with the raccoons. And so I'm, I, I want to be, but I just can't do it right now. But till that heals over. And I could sit properly. I can't even get in the car. I got to lay down the seat. Yeah. Don't I? Mm -hmm. Two hours of going to Halifax laying down the seat. So anyway, the bishop uh, reminded me tonight. Uh, today is, is St. France. St. Francis Day. And he, he was doing a, he, he did a mass today for a full cathedral. And uh, the uh he first thing he was thinking of while he was doing the mass was me. Ooh. And he said, I said a prayer for you. He said, and uh and he said, I'm sorry I interrupted your show. I yes. said I said, No, no, it was just something that Angie we did on the spur of the moment. But we didn't know who you were gonna call, but but uh I mean I won't anytime he calls, I drop whatever's going on and I want to talk to him. Because he's a number one friend of my book. And uh so I'm going to dig out the St. Francis statue and I'll put it out. It's in the barn. Yeah, I know. I'll get it and I'll put it out. And uh, and I don't know how long it'll stay up because... Uh, we got some rowdy. Well, I was telling the, the bishop that uh, <laughs> these fellas here won't leave anything alone. No. And they wrecked my camera, but we fixed it. And uh, I think I'm going to... I think I'll order another one anyway and... I want to order the same one because I want to buy batteries for it. Yeah. Because we have the spare batteries in that, that particular model. So. Okay, then. Well, I guess we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can't see what you're writing. I, these things are not readers. I know. Uh, but my stomach is still, like my stomach was right flat for the longest time. And then because of this bloating uh, that... Uh, uh, we don't know what's causing it yet, but we, we thought maybe it was the the uh, those things I was eating in the morning, uh, yeah. bagels. So we stopped that today, and you didn't blow up immediately. No, but uh, but I had a couple of accidents today, and like I said, I have no feeling down there to know what's coming. So my poor neighbor, he was <laughs> he came in the house, and that's when I had to run. And I didn't make it, so. Yeah, but he got the hole made for the wasp to go out of the wall. Yeah, yeah. So, like if there's any left alive. Yeah, we've had none in the house today. No. Knock on wood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, no wasp in the house. We've been wasp free today. Well, I, I so. lost a lot of weight off my neck and, and my arms. I had big, thick arms, and it's, you know, it's just, uh, it's just gone to this now. So, but I, uh, I look more like my father was. <laughs> That's what everybody's saying. You look so much like your dad. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll I'll get out of the road here. You gonna tell him bye? Cause I'm gonna tell him bye. Yeah, um, Mr. Connor, there. Uh, he uh -huh. caused me to break the plastic knife. 
Uh-oh. Or, uh, he, he was shoving and pushing at me to get food. Well, we've got some extra ones around, so I'll find them. Well, he, the gets so, he gets so agitated that you don't give it to him right away. And he was pushing, and, of course, the, the thing fell out of my hand and broke. So. Well, you made him that way. Huh? You made him that way. Yeah, I know. And then as soon as you open something, like open any kind of a container, <laughs> he's right there. It's just a baby. So I got the, what we get on today, boss, playoffs. Yeah, I pulled the so bat out of the drawer for you. And they didn't make it last year. Mm -hmm. No, they went up four straight. Yeah. But the Blue Jays are on tonight for their last game. If they don't win, they're gone. They may win. You never know. Now, my favorite player is number 11, uh, Bo uh, Bichette. Bichette. And uh, he, he gets a hit in almost every time he gets up. And he steals bases. He's a real good player. I, I, I like him. So I ordered his shirt mm -hmm. on Amazon. So I got that. That's coming. And my cups all arrived for my nurses. I got the uh, Raccoon Whisper coffee mugs. So they're all going to, uh, I gave one out today to uh, to Crystal. She's going to take it to the secretary. Okay. She's a big, big fan of mine. So anyway. You're on it. So Crystal won't be here tomorrow. She's off for a few days. She's back Saturday. Oh. So. Well, tell everybody bye. Yeah, see you later. See you later, everybody, and thank you. We appreciate all of your support. Y'all take care, okay? Bye-bye. All right, Charlotte.